eyes. A heat map is a geographic representation of data where the individual values contained in a matrix are represented in different colors. Usually, being a collector or receivable management expert, it is a very common practice to see the highlighted areas where the overdue reduction needs more focus. And similarly, when you are supposed to show this focus areas to your management, it's hard sometimes to show this representation in the numbers. There are multiple types of reports, multiple types of graphs and charts, which can help you to represent it. But sometimes it's very handy to share this heat map geographical representation of data, which helps to highlight the key areas your management need to focus on and yourself, of course. So let me show you an example. For example, we have this numbers. Honestly, if I'm looking into the global perspective of my company's overdue receivable, it's, it's a little bit tricky to sort it out and just figure it out which area needs more focus, etc., etc. So let me give you a quick example from one of the add-ins which can help you to present this data very easily to your management. So if you go and insert in your ribbon, there you have add-ins. In the add-ins, um, what I've done is I've downloaded this geographical heat map. So if you don't have it in your system, not a problem, just go to store and in the search, you can find this uh, by writing down geographical heat maps. So it's very easy and handy to download. So simply go there, select once it's downloaded. Once you select this, it will give some of the options that you have to fill in and select, and then it will move to your beautiful geographical heat map. So there are some instructions, a welcome startup page, then you press the get started. Now, first thing in the settings that you have to do is to select your data. So once you select the pop-up for the selection comes in, you can simply go onto your data, select it all, even if it's empty. So the data is selected now. After selection, you have to choose the map. So it is not a USA or a country map, but it's a global map. So I will select world. Then I have to choose the columns. So automatically Excel has chosen the columns, but you can see the column A country is for the countries, regions, and column B is for the values, overdues. So that is how you select your region and the values. Now, based on this region values, now we have to have a color theme. So the color themes, there are three types. Number one, grayscale. I will not touch this. There are two colored ones, red to green, green to red. So this red to green means that the low value or the lowest value will be red and it will gradually move till the top value, which should be green. So in our case, it's not like this. It won't work like this. Why? Because the low overdue should be green. So we'll turn it like this. So from low means green, it will turn to red means high overdue will be represented in red colors. So there will be multiple shades in between red and green, which will show the impact of the overdues. I will just quickly add a title. There you go. I will save it. The moment I save it, I have my chart here with the title overdue situation globally. Now, wherever I have these numbers, we have these colors. For example, you see UAE, it is in 34 million, which is the highest. And you see here, the UAE 34 million is in red. So let me put these numbers on some other countries. Now, keep an eye on this map because it will automatically now update itself. The moment I paste it, you can see the numbers appearing here. And there's another red, which is Bulgaria 34 million. I will paste the same numbers again assuming that these are the values that I'm getting in. And you can see now in somewhere in Central Africa, there is one country with the highest number. So this is how um, the heat map representation can help you. You can copy and paste this map into your presentations and easily show your management that these are the focus areas of the countries or the regions where you need to focus more because there are overdues and these screens need a different strategy. So you can strategize accordingly wherever you have the overdues. So this will help you to represent your data. Similarly, I will take another example and I will take you to USA. We have some numbers here as well. So again, we will go to the add-ins, select geographical heat map. There we are. 
a little bit of patience and then we'll be on the startup screen. Get started. There we go. Now select the data, which again, I will select all the countries, states. So I have different states here. The choose map, I will not select the globe now or the world, rather I will choose USA. Then I will go to the column selection. You can see it's already selected state as region and value overdues as values. So stage is set. The only thing we need to change is turn it to green to red. So lower green, higher red. So if, for example, it's about cash collection, then I will turn it other way around. So if it's about cash collection, then lower is red and higher is green to show the impact that more collections are green and less collection are red. So OD selection, uh, sorry, OD situation. And I will press OK now. Different states are with different colors, which means these are with high overdues. I will select this data, copy it and paste it. And you see more uh, states are colored, highlighted. I will paste it more and more and more states are colored because more states are getting value. And if you remember, we selected all uh, the range. So it is part of the data range or data selection. So the moment you will change the numbers, it will change the colors. So that's how guys, you can copy and paste it into your uh, presentations. You can copy and paste it into your Excels and share it with your management, share it with your colleagues and easily um, highlight the areas which need your focus and attention in coming months. Um, it helps in forecasting. It helps in making strategies for the overdue reduction. I hope you enjoyed it guys and it will be helpful for you to represent, report and dashboard your data. Looking forward to talk to you again then. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.